is Grammar at Home. Tonight I am making a little bit of appetizer. It's cauliflower and Brussels sprouts. Okay, what I did was I had the sauce, the chicken wing hot sauce. I diluted it with a little bit of water because I don't like it too spicy. So I just take the cauliflower, mix it up in here, mix it in the sauce, get it nice and saturated. There we go. It's a nice big piece. Mm, that one's going to be really crunchy. Okay, got a couple little ones here. I pre-made um, these a little bit earlier because there was a lot of them. And this was only a small head of um, cauliflower. It wasn't a lot. It wasn't a big one. Okay, these make a great snack. Uh, lunch, something when you're watching TV. Or a late, late night snack where you don't want to eat anything heavy at night. And if you want it less spicy, use a different kind of sauce or use a little bit more water in, in the hot chicken wing sauce. But this kind of gives it a buffalo taste. There we go. Buffalo sauce taste. Okay, so let me put, I use this here. It's the veggie grill seasoning. So I kind of sprinkled a little bit on the other ones earlier. So a little bit more. Here we go. Okay, a little bit of pepper. You can put salt, um, red pepper flakes. You know, whatever, whatever you like. Okay. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this in the oven. It's gonna take probably about uh, maybe 15 minutes, 20 minutes. And if you want them crunchier, leaving them in a little bit longer. I leave it at 350 so I can watch it because sometimes I do forget to go look. Okay, so that's in the oven. So like I said, that makes a really nice um, snack and I use the chicken wing sauce. But you can use anything you want, barbecue sauce, um, create your own sauce. And what you can do is, oh, you know what, I forgot one thing. I'm not always prepared. And then you can use the ranch for, the, for a dipping. And it's like awesome, it's really good. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have, um, we're making fish on the side too with the veggies. So, I hate that smelly fish smell on your hands so I use um, plastic gloves it's better this way they are disposable throw them away one two three you don't have to worry about them I already seasoned these up with Old Bay so just making a little bit because there's only the two of us so I don't make a lot so I'm just going to put that in there and just kind of fold it up and I'm gonna wait about a, probably about like five minutes and then put it in the oven because I want to have the veggies get a little cooked a little bit more than this here because this is gonna this is a very small piece and it's gonna cook really fast. So I figured you know what maybe ten minutes for this. Okay, you could season it with anything you want, pepper, um, hot sauce, anything. Sometimes I get tongue tied and I can't remember what I was gonna say. But that's grandma at home. Okay, so now with these. There we go. In the trash. Now at least my hands don't smell fishy. Okay, so we're just gonna put some veggies on the side. We're just gonna make, you know, a string beans, a canned string beans. So it wasn't anything fancy tonight. So we're gonna have a lot of veggies. Okay. So, you know, that pretty well sums it up today. I mean, that's kind of like a really quickie um, appetizer. Um, I'm gonna do grandma's hint of the day. And there was another thing too I wanted to do. Where'd I go? Okay. See, I forgot where I was. Okay, so grandma's hint of the day. Okay. To re-smooth Teflon pans, boil for five to 10 minutes in a mixture of one cup water 
two tablespoons of baking soda, a half a cup of liquid bleach, and a half a cup of paste. Okay. Oh, make it into a paste. I'm sorry. Okay. Give it a try. Listen, when our pans are ready to go, they go in the trash. So, I mean, unless you got, you know, really expensive pans and you want to try this, go ahead. But, you know, my pans are, you know, $9.99, probably from Target's. Not Walmart, but probably Target's. Okay. All right. So, that's kind of like the tip of the day. And, okay. Look at that. Okay, another thing is to... I, I just want to call everybody's attention to, I know I do, and I know a lot of my friends and family, they get all those annoying phone calls from the scammers all day long, and all these crazy phone numbers. Well, listen, I'm getting tired of those phone calls. And I already put my phone number on, up, out. I don't think that works, you know? So I was just kind of going through uh, one of the magazines, and they have when a con man calls. Okay, so I'm going to do one a day and just kind of keep this in mind that, you know, things like this do happen to people because they call up and they want to sell you everything. Okay, so the first one I want to do is a jury duty manager. He calls from the courthouse saying you missed your jury duty and you need to pay $400 or you're going to jail. Well, good. You know what? I don't have $400. Come and get me. You know what? You're going to feed me three days, you know, three times a day. Good. I get a clean bed to sleep. Oh, maybe not a clean bed, but a roof over my head for the night. So, you know what? Come and get me. That's fine. You know? Don't even answer these phone calls. Hang up. Block their numbers. They're going to call from 10 different numbers. It's, and it's the same people. It, it, it's insane. It's insane. There's so many uh, of these scams that it's crazy. So, I'm going to read one a night, but please, you know, pass it on to somebody else because this does happen. You know, like I said, my phone rings from 6 o'clock in the morning to 9 o'clock at night with these, these crazy scammers. So, I mean, it is a problem out there. Um, I don't know what else to do, but just block them and don't answer them. So, if you call me and it's from an un unknown phone number and I don't answer, leave me a message. Because if it's important, I will call you back. I'm not answering and, you know... Uh, a call that has a different area code where I don't know who you are. So, I mean, that's what everybody should do. But it's it's really been crazy, you know. So, you know what? That's the tips of the day. So, you know, watch out for those con men and those scammers on the phone. And like I said, you know, this is cooking. It's going to come out nice and crunchy. I like it crunchy, so we'll leave it in a little bit longer. Then I'll put the fish in. As soon as I'm finished talking with you, I'll put the fish in. This is not going to take long. And that's pretty well it. So you guys enjoy your night. Um, here in Vegas, we had a little bit of snowflakes up in the upper mountains, in the top of um, Vegas there, north of us. And um, we didn't get anything down here on the east side. No rain, you know, a little bit of wind, but that's it. But the north got a little bit of snow. Okay, you guys, you guys all keep warm. I've talked to a few people and it's cold in, you know, certain parts of the country. But you guys all keep warm. Make yourself some soup. Grandma soup the other day. All right, guys, you guys have a nice night and take it easy, okay? And I will see you guys tomorrow with Grandma's hip tip of the day. I got to learn how to look at this camera correctly. I don't know where I'm looking. There you go. Bye, guys.